creatives and welcome to today's video. So today I'm super excited to show you this technique that I've been doing for years and it's just an easy and simple way to make a birch tree on your project. So I'm just starting out with a credit card and some black paint and I'm just laying it and kind of doing it at a curve. I'm holding it at about like a 45 degree angle. I've dipped it in just a little bit of black paint, not overloading it, but you can see I'm just tapping it on both sides and then just smoothing it in a little bit of an arc to give that kind of tree, I don't know, that tree vibe. This is super fun to try because it is so easy to give that really graphic black and white kind of style that a birch tree has. I'm just kind of playing around on this particular one, but um, you can see how easy it is. I literally, it's been, I don't know, two minutes, minute and a half, and I've got all of my trees done. The, the goal and the idea is just to keep that credit card, old debit card, gift card, whatever you happen to be using at that like 45 degree angle and just swipe it um, at a little bit of an angle so that you get... Um, you're not ending up with a really straight line and then just making sure you're doing both sides and you can see super easy love it it's a great print to do um, we are actually in the illustrating bible in isaiah chapter 41 um, and you can see i've just grabbed a gel press plate to use kind of as a palette for this next step because i want to go in and begin to build kind of a scene and so i've got a really stiff brush it's actually a brush that i think i left in paint so that's why it's stiff and i'm using it with just um, almost what you would think is like a dry brush technique where i'm just taking three colors of yellow and adding a little bit of paint dabbing some off and then just swiping it up I don't know why it's in my brain it's stuck there from like elementary school my art teacher always said if you're gonna paint grass or draw grass or whatever you want to call it that you should always paint draw whatever grass the way it grows from the bottom up and when you're doing it with this technique it allows the top of that grass to be thinner than the bottom which is of course how your grass would look if you were growing it if you were growing it you know if it was growing normally out of the ground so you can see I'm just filling in a lot of those spots with just a few different colors of green and just kind of a layering them on top of each other and I'm loving it I think it's fun I love the graphicness of the kind of birch tree against the uh, against the green and I thought it needed a little bit of yellow so I'm going in with that while I do that let's chat about this particular verse like I said we we're in Isaiah 41 and we are talking in verse 19 and 20 and we're in the section of Isaiah where if you're not familiar the beginning of Isaiah is all about um, this is all the bad things that could happen if you do wrong but the second half of Isaiah is all about the redemption of God's people and in this particular part um, we are talking um, he's uh, prophesying Isaiah is prophesying on behalf of what he's get. he's kind of downloading from the Lord um, and it says uh, I'm going to read a couple of verses before it, starting at 17 it says the poor and the needy seek water but there is none their tongues are parched with thirst I will answer them I am the Lord the God of Israel and I will not abandon them I will open rivers on the barren heights and springs in the middle of the plains I will turn the desert into a pool and dry lands into spring and then the next verses we're kind of concentrating on it says I will plant cedars acacia myrtles and olive trees in the wilderness I will put juniper trees elms and cypress together in the desert so that all may see and know and so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking some vintage old whatever like gel press prints and kind of cutting them to make little flowery kind of thing so just layering them just having fun you could do this with pattern paper or construction paper or whatever paper you happen to have but what I love about this particular verse and if you know me and you know for whatever reason I am obsessed with the book of Isaiah I don't know why it's just my thing I love it there's so many good little nuggets in there but what I love about this particular verse is all of these plants all of these trees that they're talking about don't grow in the desert they shouldn't grow in the desert um, so it just shows that God is truly a miraculous God, that even in what could be considered the worst parts of our life, that good things can come out of it. Yes, we're in a desert. Yes, we're going through things. 
but that's not all there is to our life, that there, we are more than this, just the desert we are in. And what I love about this too is all of, in the Bible, symbolism is huge. And all of these trees actually mean something. And I'll get back to that in just a second. But you can see I'm just having some fun and just making sure when I'm layering them that I'm not putting like two blues on top of each other or two reds so that they really have that chance to just kind of pop and have all of those layers. This is a great use if you have little bits and pieces left of prints or little bits and pieces left of, if you're like me, I tend to save scraps because I'm a weirdo. But this is a really fun way to add a color against our black and white birch trees and against our pop of green grass. I'm loving it. It's a super easy thing to do too. It doesn't take, I mean, if you're like me, I can't really cut a circle really well. So the fact that I don't need them to be a perfect circle is uber fantastic as well. <laughs> and you're going to see as I layer them, I'm actually going to cut some of them um, kind of a little line off of them so that they look like they're peeking from behind the tree. And to put them together, I'm just taking some Tombow glue and just adding it in layers. Nothing super fancy. I'm not even digging out the Mod Podge or anything like that. I'm just keeping it easy, breezy, lemon squeezy, I guess. And I just love the pop of color and how graphic and funky they are. And you can see on that one, I did cut it kind of in a straight line. So it would kind of edge up against my birch tree so it would look like it was kind of peeking out from behind it. I did the same with that one as well. And I just think they're so fun. I think they're great, but I think they need, you know, a little bit more, like, you know, some stems. So I'm going to go in with just a green Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen and just kind of doodle in some leaves and some stems. Nothing super fancy. Again, we're not trying to make it realistic or anything like that. We're just having fun. And then I'm going to go in and add a little bit of yellow, which didn't have the pop. I hope it would, but you know, you never know till you add it sometimes. And then I'm going to go in with another Pit Artist pen and just begin to kind of define my shapes, keeping it really scribbly, nothing fancy. But I want all of those circles to really pop pop. And what I'm going to do actually here in a minute, um, you'll see is I actually went through and did, did a little bit of research as to what all of these trees symbolized in the Bible or what the context they were most used in. And I really wanted to kind of document that, that it's not just about the physical tree, because like I said, so much in the Bible is on is symbolic and uh, symbolistic. Um, and so I'm actually going to speed it up just a little bit more here because I'm actually going to go in and start writing some words. So these trees in the Bible represent things like um, being powerful um, and having endurance and commitment and peace and protection and reconciliation and faith and healing and praise and hope. And I think these are all super important things to realize that even in, you can see my phone over there as I'm going through this and doing a little research as I film this. But I, I love the idea that it's not just about the physical tree. Yes, physical trees are great. Um, you know, we need them for oxygen. They're pretty. But they mean so much more. And this promise from God means so much more. It means that in our deepest wilderness that we're gonna, we can still find healing. We can still find hope. We can find endurance. I don't know how many times I need just some endurance to make it through the wilderness. Um, and I just love the symbolism of what all of these trees mean in the Bible. And that's kind of what I wanted to... Uh, I guess kind of symbolize what I what I wanted this to be about. Yes, I always want to teach you guys really cool art projects and art techniques to make your Bible journaling or your art journaling or your journaling your art, whatever in general, um, easy. But I also want you guys to understand that it is about so much more than the art. That it's about what God is trying to speak to us through our art. And I just love that God can take something as simple as a tree, and if we take just a little bit of time to do some research and think on it, that He is telling telling us he's doing so much more in our lives than just planting a tree. He's giving us endurance. He's giving us peace. He's giving us protection in whatever our wilderness is, whatever our, the desert is in our life. And so I love this project. It's so me. It's graphic. It's funky. It's got a lot of colors. Um, but I hope you will give this a try. I love this technique of making these birch trees with just a little bit of paint and an old, like I said, debit card, credit card, gift card, something that has that kind of stiff 
works best for this technique. And so I think it would be really great for you guys to do some thinking of what, um, you know, do some Googling, do some research on maybe another verse or this verse. Um, like I said, this is Isaiah 41 verses 19 and 20. And I made sure to document that kind of as little journaling on my trees as well or flowers. I guess they're more flowers than trees. And so I made sure to document that, that these are the trees in the desert, and I almost spelled it dessert, but I didn't. Yay, go me. And so I'm just going in with the green here and just adding a few last little touches of kind of green grass, just to kind of fill in that space and break up my ones in the back a little bit. So thank you for joining me. I hope you guys will give this a try. Um, and uh, if you do, make sure you tag me on social media at the Creative Life Studios, and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.